Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm working on ba -ba -ba -ba, Big Random and I'm super excited about it. So this is Big Random Part 2, 2.0. I have some square rectangle images up here, some words and like some fussy cut images, all from magazines. And I started doing um, a random journal or a random glue book because back when I started glue booking, I just was so frustrated with like composition and how things looked. And I, it was just sometimes becoming so stressful for me that it wasn't enjoyable. So I decided I had all these squares and rectangles cut out for magazines that I was just going to create a glue book where I put all the squares and rectangles down just randomly so I can just have fun gluing and I have to worry about matchy matchy and all this stuff so I started big random it became a pretty big hit and now I'm working on my second one sometimes I do kind of do a little bit of a theme like I kind of had a pink thing going here but usually it's very random images and when you're all done it just looks really cool it's kind of like pop art and, um, you know, just old school collage, just lots of this and that. You can use stickers, washi tape. Um, here's some washi tape right here. Um, yeah, so I just try and find really colorful images in magazines, and then I add them to my glue book. I start by putting rectangles down and squares first. So I'll start with my big images, pick a couple of those, then do a couple medium ones, and then smaller, and then I fill in the gaps with fussy cuts and words. And it's so fun. Doesn't this look so cool when it's all done? Like, I love it. This is my one of my favorite ways to glue book ever. And, I, you know, I hear a lot of people say they have a hard time with the concept of random because they want to be matchy-matchy. And I know this sounds really corny, but it really honest, true, honestly and truly worked for me is I told myself that random was my theme. And that's how I get through it. And that's how I do it. And I tell myself random is my theme. So... These are the pages I did with the glue crew the other day um, while I answered some questions. And I did this page as well. Oh, Sherman's blessing us with his present. So let's get started. Okay. The TV is on in the living room and Sherman just busted through the door. So you might hear that a little bit. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is funny. It says, wonder what came first, the cookie or the cookie dough? <laughs> and the other chicken says... That's deep, Janine. <laughs> That's so funny. And then my friend Eileen sent me this in Happy Mail, so I want to use that. Okay, so I don't have my rectangles and stuff. Kind of, Normally, I keep them in three different piles, large, medium, small. But, oh, and look at this. I found a Greyhound, which, you know, Xena's part whip it. So I wanted to use that. I thought that would be kind of cool. So let's start with that. Like I said, I, I put down a couple... Um, big images first and then I do a couple medium and then small and then fussy cuts and words. That's my system for big random. And it's just so fun. So find interesting pictures and cut them up. And you know, I hear people all the time in my comments say, well, I don't hear it. I read it. <laughs> um, I wish I had images like you do. Well, I'm using the same magazines you are. I find like all my magazines are free. I'll get like um, sometimes when you walk into a grocery store, they'll have like free magazines for the community that you live in, you know, that talk about things to do and that kind of stuff. You can find all kinds of stuff in those words and all kinds of stuff. And I also like this, this was one big ad and I chopped it up into several different pieces that I can use. Um, and then there's this, I had this one and I cut like this would be a great little filler piece. That was part of the confetti. I cut that. And this and then I cut off their legs and I kept that too because that's also a cool image so and then this one this was like a full page thing I just cut this drag queen out right here that's all I needed so you can find lots of images you just have to like kind of cut them cut around your images I guess I don't know how to explain that but you see what I'm doing here okay so I have that large one this one's really big. Do I want to go here and go big or go home? Now, 
sometimes I put stuff, like I'll do this big image, but I'll still put stuff on this as well. I don't just leave this and not put anything else on this. This one's a little big. I want to do more gluing today, so I'm just going to go with this. All right. Ooh, this is so fun. It's all rainy outside, too. Love it. Gluing on a rainy day. Oh, does it get any better than that? I have a hot coffee sitting here, which feels amazing. I have, like, a raging headache today, too. Isn't it the worst when you get the rain headaches? I think mine is stress-related as well. I'm also kind of in a lot of pain right now, but... Um, Wow, we have just had so much stuff happening to us lately. So over the weekend, um, our storage unit was broken into, and they stole a lot of our stuff. Um, priceless things, things from Bob's childhood that he's been collecting since childhood, you know, all kinds of stuff, and it's awful. Um, I was sick to my stomach about it for the longest time this weekend, and I just... Sometimes I just hate people. <laughs> just cause, I know that sounds awful, but like, come on. That is so mean to do to people. You know what I mean? Like, get a job. Go do something with your life. Don't steal other people's crap. It's so annoying. <laughs> I hate it. Um, okay, so those are all big. I'll put those aside now because I want to move on to something more medium-sized. Ooh, does this fit like perfect? No. So that was super stressful and we had to make police reports and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that was not fun. Um, okay, I'm struggling now because I'm talking and let me move. Okay, I want to definitely use this avocado piece. So maybe I'll put... That right here or maybe right here. Let's do that. Okay. So we had to make a police report and all that stuff and um, some of Bob's figurines, glass figurine things that he's been collecting since he was little. They found one box, but the people had dropped it like maybe the box gave out or something happened. So, yes, we got our stuff, but it's all broken. And so it's useless now. So that sucks. Um, yeah. They stole all my, like, my vending tent for when I do, when I'm a vendor and I sell my crafts, which is very expensive. Oh, man. So, the good thing is we did have an insurance policy with our storage unit. So, yeah, that's great and all. We can be monetarily compensated, hopefully. Uh, but that doesn't give us our stuff back. You know what I mean? So, I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm very glad that we have insurance. And that that's an option. It just sucks because we'd rather have our stuff. You know what I mean? I am being so particular right now. <laughs> you know what? Because I can be. I'm just having fun. So. All right. I don't like any of these. Oh, yeah. And I have Snoop. D-O-double-G. Maybe I'll put him right here. Because, you know, he's got to be with the other dogs. Oh, oh. All right, so anyway, so then that happened. So then Bob's on the phone. It took us three days to have a cop call us back, which fine. Bob was all frustrated, but I'm like, listen, we're short-staffed in this city. We got enough stuff going on, right? So anyways, Bob gets to work yesterday morning and finds that our building had been tagged with graffiti all over the glass of our front door. And stuff like that. So Bob had to clean that first thing in the morning and try and scrub all that off. And he was totally exhausted because he just had surgery. And so, you know, that's hard scraping off spray paint. So the cop calls and he's talking to Bob while he's doing that. And the guy's like, uh, what are you doing right now? It sounds like you're doing something. And Bob was like, yeah, uh, our building got nailed with graffiti. And the cop was like, oh, man, that sucks. And he's like, yeah, it does especially since there's nothing you guys can do about it because it's just there's nothing oh man portland i'm telling you it is just going into the i was gonna say something but i just won't <laughs> oh man it's frustrating right now there's so much crime and ugh. so that was a bummer um 
And, you know, I was really upset about it all weekend. And then finally I was like, you know what? They're just objects. And I get attached to objects. So does my husband. Um, and I reminded myself that, yes, those, and I put this on my Facebook. Um, I said, yes, those objects hold memories. But we still have those memories without the objects. It just sucks because that's stuff that Bob wanted to you know, passed down to his grandkids or his kids or whatever, you know, and now it's all gone and what we do have is broken. So that just sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. What do you do? Um, where is that? There it is. Okay, hold on. I have some more. I don't like it when my pages hang over the edge. If you do, totally keep them. You don't have to do what I do. I just really hate it. <laughs> Plus, I find it super satisfying to cut them off. There we go. Okay. This book, if you're wondering, is a sketchbook. I got it at Michael's Craft Store. It was like $6 maybe on sale. And it's just like my other big random book, only it's spiral bound. It's exactly the same, same paper and everything. And I love that it's spiral bound instead. And I have Miss Carol Burnett. Who doesn't love Miss Carol? Loved the Carol Burnett show when I was growing up. Loved it. Let's just put her there. Here's the other thing with the big random glue booking that I do is I just kind of glue intuitively. I just put a piece down. I do not map it out before. I just, you know, find a piece that works. If I can't find a piece that works, I make a piece work. I cut it down or whatever, you know. There we go. Oh my gosh. If you guys have a Trader Joe's by you, Bob went the other day and he got, we love Trader Joe's by the way. Absolutely love it. Um, he went there the other day and they have, you know, all their like pumpkin spice and maple and all that kind of stuff right now. So he bought maple marshmallows and, um, over the weekend I made, um, yams and then I put you know just like for Thanksgiving when you put marshmallows on top I put the maple marshmallows on top <gasps> so good you guys so good so highly recommend you put maple marshmallows on top of your yams I like yams just plain too but come on can't go wrong with some some mallows here and there I'm gonna do that for Thanksgiving Okay. You know that segment on Family Guy where Peter's like, you know what really grinds my gears? Okay, well, I have one of those. You know what grinds my gears? I'll tell you. <laughs> the drop-off line at school. Listen. If you are a parent and you are dropping your child off at school, that is a tuck and roll situation when you're in the drop-off line, okay? Do not go in the drive through drop-off line if your kid takes 10 minutes to get out of their car, has a bag in every little part of the car, has to open the front door, the back door, the trunk, everything, and then you sit there and talk to your kid for 10 minutes. That is not the line for you. Move along. <laughs> go park somewhere. You are holding up traffic, not only in the parking lot, but also outside the parking lot where people are waiting down the street because you're having, you know, some convo with your child that you could have had in the car beforehand. I don't know. It just drives me nuts. I'm like, tuck and roll, tuck and roll. My kids are lucky if I even slow the car down. Okay. Like, here we are. Er, go. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I do slow the car down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> It just drives me nuts, though. I'm like, this isn't grade school. This is high school. Get out. Move along. <laughs> like, knees to chest. Let's go. <laughs> drives me nuts. Okay, Eddie Murphy. Do I want Eddie Murphy? I want these these ladies. Ooh, my A-L-E-X-A is talking to me. Let's put them right here. All right. <laughs> Jackson can just like feel my energy too. He's like, don't do it. I'm like, I'm doing it. He's like, don't do it. <laughs> and what he's referring to is I'm like two seconds away from honking my horn. Like, come on. 
along. He's like, don't you dare. And I'm like, I will get out of this car and humiliate you if I want. <laughs> you guys, I'm totally joking. I have a great relationship with my kids. I would never do that to them. Uh, or would I? I don't know. It depends, I guess. <laughs> I love my babies. My babies are my life. I don't know. I'm turning into that get off my lawn kind of person. The other day I'm walking Xena in my pajamas. Yeah, I'm not even joking. I don't know what's happened to me. All of a sudden, I, you know, I'm in my 40s and I just feel like I don't have to care about the way I look anymore or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they were clean pajamas, though, I will say. Uh, so anyways... I'm walking Xena and I hear this car coming and I'm like, man, that car is going fast. Like you can just hear it. Right. So I'm trying to, I'm getting ready to cross the street, but I wait cause I can hear this car. And all of a sudden here it comes and it runs the stop sign and just turns right. It just rolls right through it. And I'm waiting to cross that street. Thank God I didn't cross. And <laughs> out of my mouth, out of nowhere, I yell, there was a stop sign. <laughs> just like, what am I doing? Like, I am not an officer of the law. It is not my duty to tell these people that they're breaking the law. But I was like, dang, man, you could kill me. <laughs> There's a stop sign. <laughs> he had his window down. Maybe that's why I did it. I don't know. But I even had to laugh. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm turning into my mother. <laughs> It's like, I see why people start getting cranky in their old age. You're just sick of dealing with people's crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you just become unhinged. You just say it all. You don't even care. <laughs> just, just start saying whatever's on your mind. I mean, I wasn't wrong. He did totally, like, was speeding in a residential area and ran the stop sign. When a pedestrian was waiting to cross, on a crosswalk, I might add, There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, let's just put that right there. Oh man, I think I need to put on a movie and just do some gluing for myself. You know what I mean? Where you just need to sit and chill, light a candle, Relax, listen to the rain. I love that. Do I want to put that there? I think I'm going to trim this down just a, just a wee, just a wee bit. I want to cut the little triangle of leg off here. Is that too much? Oh no, that was good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love gluing so much. It's so relaxing and fun. Highly recommend. If you like spiral bound books, it's great to use a sketchbook. They're my favorite to use. Um, unless I make my own spiral bound book. Um, but sketchbooks, love it. Love it. And you can get some good deals on sketchbooks too. And if you're at like a store, craft store, anything like that, look in the kids' art section because they also have sketchbooks, but they're usually cheaper. However, sometimes the paper quality isn't as good, but we're gluing on them anyway, so even thin paper doesn't matter because once you start gluing, these get like almost like cardboard. Like, see how stiff they get? Okay, now should I add Eddie? I don't want to add Eddie there. What else do I have here? Not that. Oh, I have Julia. Julia Gulia. <laughs> Do you know what movie that's from? Julia Gulia. Love that movie. I'm going to be Mrs. Julia Gulia. <laughs> oh, man. I love Adam Sandler. I almost put him in this glue book today. I found I was going through a People magazine, and there's a big old picture of him. Okay, let's put this right here. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so, oh, I have this cute little guy. He could fit right here. 
But then I'm covering up not only the dog. Ooh, I have this too. Maybe I could just put this. No. Okay, so let's go to um, my fussy cuts and see if there's anything I want to add. Ooh, I have an eyeball. Yeah. Oh, I have an eyeball there too. Oh, I should put this one right here though. It, it fits. If it fits, it sits. I don't know. I just like it. Okay. Let's glue that there. Eyeballs. Who doesn't like eyeballs? Lots of you, actually. Because <laughs> you tell me in the comments. Ew, I hate the eyeballs. I love eyeballs. <laughs> I mean, that sounds so weird. <laughs> like, not in a Hannibal Lecter kind of way, but I mean, like, for art. <laughs> Just want to clarify. Okay, so would Perfectionist fit right here? I Honestly, I kind of feel like it would. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to washi tape. Well, hmm. Maybe I'll washi tape up here and then I'll add that. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, I have this watch. I mean, I could put it like that and then cut off the top part. I definitely could do that. I could also put it right here. Hmm. Let's hold off on that. What else do I have? Oh, I have this watch too. That one's too big. Ooh, I have a bagel. Carmen, this bagel's for you. <laughs> Remember when I had that bagel page? You're like, um, I'm waiting for the bagels. Okay, I'm going to put that bagel right there. Here's a piece from that bagel page. Okay. Let's put that here. There we go. A little bagel. And, oh yeah, I have this cute little kitty. You know, but the cute little kitty gazing up at Snoop. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love Snoop. Okay. Yes. Listen, kitty, he's my man, not yours. Holy school bus. Okay. Let's see. I also have some cheese. <laughs> Listen, I get crazy with these. It's just fun to like put random things. It's so fun. Oh, I have a Twix. Where do I want to put this Twix? Maybe right there. Yes. This is the fun part. I mean, the whole thing is fun, but it's just fun being like, so here's the thing that I look for when I'm looking for images for Big Random. I look for a couple things. One, color. Words with color, it, items with color. Like this is a book about Indian curry. I use, ooh, actually, should I put that right there? Um, I do this because I like that it's colorful. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll put uh, that right there. Just have fun with it. You can use stickers for this part too. There's no harm in using stickers. It's basically just glue book pages or glue book images that have already have sticky on the back. So definitely use stickers. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, I have this little Miami suitcase. Oh my gosh, yes, I wanna use that. Okay, oh, I love it when that happens. When you put something down and you're like, yep, that's it. That is the one. I've talked about this a long time ago in my videos, how it's so weird how, you know, you can look at something and go, no, I don't like that. And then you can try something else. You're like, yep, that's the one. Like, how do we, like, what is it about the image? I don't know. Okay, there we go. It says Miami, a little, little thing there. Oh, I have Cher. Let's add Cher. We'll add her over here. Yes. Oh my gosh, remember that movie Mask with Cher? Oh, I remember that as a kid watching that. Oh my gosh, that's a good movie. That poor kid. Which is based on a, a on real life, right? Um, oh, I have an ice cream cone. I want to put it on top of Snoop's head almost. That looks cute there, I'm going to do that. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. I played softball, and one of our chairs was 
ice cream, ice cream, banana split. We think your team plays like shift to the left, shift to the right. Stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Did you guys ever use that one? If you were a softball player or any sport, really, I guess. Okay, let's see. What else? Do I want? Oh, I love this. This cup out of a catalog. I love catalogs for glue books. What is on here? A little piece of glue. There's a chance this is whiskey. Love that. Um, you know what? I'm not going to put it right there. Let's do it. Okay. Can I glue this without ripping the handle of the mug? The world may never know. Oh, man. But I did it. I got glue everywhere. That's a bummer. There's a chance this is whiskey. So you're saying there's a chance. There we go. Ah. Oh, gosh. Big thing of glue right there. Don't worry, I wash my hands when I'm done glue booking, but I usually put that glob of glue on the back of my hand so that I'm not getting it on everything else. I know, I'm a weirdo. I'm a diehard glue booker. <laughs> okay. Just like a artist has paint all over their hands, I have glue. Because it's heckin' good. <laughs> I love this. Oh, wait, I can put this up here. Heckin' good. I need just a little... Can you guys even see that up there? Yeah, okay. I need a little something right here. So what I'm going to do is I have this little offset piece that's just random purple. I'm going to glue that at the top there so I don't have a little white space. Just, I have this like little quarter inch spot up here. So I'm just going to... This is why I keep my cutoffs. Okay, I'm just going to... Oops, I glued it to the page behind it. Okay, we'll just let that sit for a second, and then I'll cut it off when I'm done. But I'm going to put this heckin' good right here. Yes. Oh, here comes Zena. Airplane. Hey, sis. You all right? She's been doing really good with the airplanes lately. Like, they really haven't bothered her like they used to. Um, yeah, she's been doing really good. She's a little on edge right the second, but she's just sitting here. She's not shaking like she used to. Okay, and then I have, hold on. Hello, PSA. Oh, hello, this is a PSA. Wait till you see what I put down there. Hold on, let me glue this first. Hello. This is a PSA. Drink more water. <laughs> yes, that's so me. Okay, what else? Um, perfectionist. I don't really want to use that. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Word on the street. No. Hey girl, I see you. What's up? What's up, baby girl? You're fine. You're fine booping me. What? What you need? Do you need to go outside? She must have saw a squirrel or something. She wants to go outside. She drives Andrew nuts because she wants to go outside every five seconds to look at, I don't even know what, cats, squirrels, something. Okay. I have this too. No, no. Winning. I'm going to put that right there. I know I saw you. I know you don't have to go to the bathroom because you've already been out. Is something out there that you need right now? I have winning. OMG. Look at her butt. There we go. I'm going to put that there. Zena, I see you, sis. I got you, girl. You're going to have to wait a minute. I know. The squirrel will come back, I promise. She's like, no, now. I'm going to put this right here now. See, I just switched out of nowhere. I don't know why I did that. Um, Zena, I know, sissy. You're going to have to wait, and it's pouring down rain. You're going to get soaked again, and I'm going to have to try and clean you. Word on the street. No. 
Maybe I'll put this right here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I need something right here. It's bothering me. Perfectionist? No, that won't fit. Zini, stop, ma'am. You need to wait. Be patient, please. Do I want that there? Do I want that there? I'm going to put that there. we go okay what else do you need to go potty okay i'm gonna go let her out real quick because she's being like relentless so i will be right back and let her go do her thing okay dogs are in xena saw a cat and so she had to go investigate the kitty and now she's soaking wet but i got her all cleaned up um i just wanted to see if there was oh wait was i gonna glue her down here let's just glue her down there why not? Why not? Why ask why? Drink bud dry. <laughs> Man, slogans really work. I'm always saying them. <laughs> they just get stuck in your head. Okay. Oh, I wanted her way over here, though. Because I don't want to cover all my avocados. All right, there we go. I need like a little heart here for him because, you know, I love him. And you know what? I, I have a sticker book right here. They're 80s stickers, but let's see if maybe I have a heart or something in here I could use. Um, let's see. Ooh, I like this. It's like a mouth. that right there by the ice cream and what else do I want to use oh my gosh I feel like putting these glasses on Carol Burnett oh my gosh I'm doing it don't get mad at me I'm, I'm just having fun <laughs> that looks so cool oh my gosh and I have little trolls should I add a little troll somewhere A little troll right there okay let me look at this sticker book um funky fresh got a little speech bubble let's use that we go <laughs> oh, I should put it under share um okay where's my heart I don't see any heart all right well that's fine maybe I'll add some of these stars it's just for funsies you don't have to add stickers if you don't want to but I do just because I want to add we get all these stickers and we hoard them and we never use them. So I'm using them. I'm going to do it. Ma'am, don't you dare start with me right now. <laughs> you already saw the kitty. You're fine. She's like, I want to go back. No, we're done now. You need to dry. This dog loves to be outside. Loves it. Okay. Just want to add ma'am stop we already did it you're done thank you i know i know you're such a good girl sissy loves you okay all right so here is my glue book page for today i definitely had a blast i want to go through some magazines and cut out a few more things but you know what it's basically just having fun randomly gluing and you know, I added stickers. I don't always do that. That's pretty rare for me, but I want to start doing that more. I want to add stickers and just 
make it funky fresh. <laughs> Slide out the funk. Slide out that funk. Okay, I need to stop now. All right, everyone. That's going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I played in Big Random. I hope you enjoyed playing in Big Random. I know a lot of you have been waiting for the, for the Big Random videos to start popping back in. If you have never glued this way, I highly suggest trying it. It is so much fun. Definitely look in some magazines, see what you can find. If you want to be more matchy-matchy about it, do it. There's no wrong way to glue. I hope you guys know that. You can do it however you want to do it, as long as you're having fun and enjoying your time. So, all right, everyone. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to drink your water, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.